we leave on our long trip to Tennessee, um, we ran into a little problem. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Good evening everyone, it is Cindy here. Um, I think a lot of you are a little confused with what's going on, so I'm going to try to uh, clear that up for you all right now. Tomorrow we leave on our long trip to Tennessee to join up with Horse Plus and try to save a whole bunch of horses from auction. Nate's been working all weekend getting, making sure the truck and trailers are ready. Um, we ran into a little problem. Our trailer brakes are not working. So he's been working on that. Wade is now here trying to help figure out what's going on. We can't make that long of a drive and we certainly don't want to be pulling a trailer with horses in it without uh, trailer brakes. So hopefully they can get this working. We're leaving tomorrow. No pressure, guys. We'll get it. We got her. Yeah, all the way ahead. I'm going to start to truck and see if the brakes hold though. What are you guys doing, Izzy? Putting uh, some sacks in there for the horses to lay down in. Why are we loading the trailers with shavings, Karen? We're getting ready for the auction. Yep. <laughs> and we're learning about door latches. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy, why do they have to be latched so good? So the horses don't get out and hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, let's shut it now. Ha! 
Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I found cleaning out the Duramax. <laughs> it is so hard to believe that it has been two years since we were in Tennessee being mentored by Horse Plus for the Full Circle of Life Ranch. And now we are on our way back down there and we're bringing trailers with and we're going to help save some horses. Yeah, when they were last here, I was still leading Anya through the barn to get her out of the old quarantine barn and cleaning stalls and just doing nightly chores. And now I actually go get to go see Horse Plus's facility. Super cool. Yeah, I mean, Gabby was only two years old back then and you know, she's gonna be starting 4K soon. Everything's so different. There wasn't a barn, there weren't any catch pens. All right, well, it looks like Casey and Allie are ready, and it's time to get this show on the road. It's gonna be, what, about 12 and a half hours with stops? You guys ready? Let's go. Let's go save some ponies. so yeah, far? So much fun. Are you having fun? So much fun. How are you, Casey? My back sore. <laughs> Did you have fun trying to race us? We almost had you. Cindy was so confused. <laughs> she was like, what are they doing? Coming soon to an auction and boot camp near you. arrived at the days in night one check see you tomorrow room 128 marissa Allie, and die let's go see if those girls are how they're feeling this morning how'd you sleep last night Allie? in the car some more. <laughs> <laughs> What's our rating on this hotel? This is a flippin' one. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was peaceful. Yeah, for some reason no one got like murdered or anything. <laughs> We're not for you. That was that was interesting. Okay, cool. Let's go see what they're doing.
DC move, so it's a problem. in Allie checks up on her social media. What's going on, Allie? Leslie just sent 600 stars. Thank you for the stars so much, Leslie. That all adds up too, and we've never had too many. And yeah, like I guess I'm a little out of breath, and things have been kind of haywire, but uh, so I need to get in there and get bidding. Hopefully you guys can help us get all these horses out of here safely. With us combined with Horse Plus, we could save a lot of lives tonight. Thank you for the extra 700, Leslie, and thank you for the 50 stars, Becky. Thank you guys, and um, so yeah, I'm gonna get back in there and we're gonna go try to save some horses. And if you can help us out at all, that'd be really, really great. Um, we'll keep you updated as we can. Um, we'll, oh, there's a puppy. Hi, little, yeah, puppy. Wrong, wrong family. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get back in there and if you can help, share our post at least. If you can't, um, every share can help. Every little bit helps and um, thank you all. Hope, hope for a good night. It was a super amazing auction. We rescued over 50 precious lives. Yes. And we couldn't have done that without you guys. Like, I am totally, totally excited. We rescued over 50. Jason's like all ecstatic. I am just like overwhelmed. And we rescued, you know, over 50, and that's amazing. And that's with the help of Ponytails. And today was just crazy because they were driving here. We were driving here. We were trying to keep the organization we're mentoring out of the loop, and we were able to meet up for the auction. And, and you know, it's just kind of chaotic, but, you know, it was two years to this week that we were here uh, and the mentoring was happening for you and coming to this auction and we rescued over 50 that time too. So, how long have you been on the road to get here for today? 
For today, we got on the road about 8 o'clock this morning. And then yesterday, you were on the road. Yep. So, uh, two days of driving to come here. And then um, you're also going to assist with the mentoring through Thursday mm -hmm. um, to help this organization that we're mentoring so they can really see what it's like from somebody that's been there and went through this process and how your organization is doing now. And it's, it's just so awesome that um, Tony Pass is doing so well. And you've got your videos now and, and all the social media. It's, it's great. And you're entertaining to watch. Their TikTok channel is very entertaining to watch. Ours is too. Work but in progress. <laughs> they, they do a great job. They do a great job. So, um, but let me add 50 horses. Tony's long as mule, you know, over. over 50 lives saved. And when you watch this, we do need your help because it's going to cost a lot to intake those. It's going to cost a lot to transport them, give them all the vet care they need, vaccinations, deworming, microchipping them, quarantining them for a month, mm -hmm. and then finding them home. So our we auction, need yeah. your help. Our auction receipt alone was over $30,000 that we spent tonight to pull these horses out of the slaughter pipeline. And I know yours was only 3000 yeah. So donations are needed and greatly for appreciated for both of our organizations because, you know, we're we're here with our boots on the ground yeah. and, um, you know, these horses wouldn't, wouldn't be safe if it wasn't for us being here tonight. So thank you so much. So let me ask you and a question. How many horses been on double decker track in New Mexico? Well, it depends on the horses and the size, but it's anywhere from you know 30 to 40. And so, so we save a almost, whole slaughter truck plus uh, yeah. a slaughter truck. Yes, together we did it together. Yep. So, thank um, you all so much for your support. So yes. And you guys are the horse heroes the horse who heroes. donate yeah. to make we this possible. We couldn't do this without you, so thank you so much. Absolutely. Now we got to get some sleep yes. and then hit the road tomorrow after we do their initial intake. So. So what are we thinking, Allie? We got our our one mare here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking for sure the two-year-old out of, but do we want to take the 25-year-old? No, we talked with Jason. Her and the black one. What, how, she was like 20. She was 20. She's, She's very sweet and She's friendly. Sweet. I mean, our concern with the older ones is they're already they're thin and old. they're old and it's a long trip. Okay. She's you know, 20, but she's in Pretty good like, physical. Those, those pretty ones are 
younger, would you want, still want her over them? Or she's so sweet. I, I know. Love her at the auction. I know. I Don't like let me her. through this. So I think we try her mm -hmm. and the two-year-old, and then the two-year-old. I like the pony. The gray one, as as we can or the gold the one. Gray one that's the gray. yeah, the gray one. Well, then, because otherwise, I guess if we don't take the perch on, I would kind of like these three. Mm -hmm. Just so the three. three that look similar color that are in this Oops. really long mane. So I wonder if that one like, broke very well or not. Oh, that's real snarly. Yeah. Oh, watch out for them ticks she talks about. Right now we are heading out into our pastures to catch some of the horses that we were taking home from the auction. We're ending, we ended up taking seven from the auction and then two others, so nine in total. And we will be getting them loaded up and headed back to Wisconsin and hopefully we'll arrive tomorrow. We are completing our shelter transfer paperwork for the six transfers. That's not a question, six? Yes, six yes, transfers. Six, yes. So, who all did you find out you're going to take? We are going to take Wildflower in okay. June. Alright. Um, off Maddie's suggestion. Nice. And then two of the horses that we got at the auction we think will be better staying here and not making okay. the long trip. So we are taking three of them, but then we are taking six others, right? Nice. Nice. Sorry. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> well, if we find uh, June and Wildflower here, we can, we can move them. There's June. Here's Wildflower. Big belly and all. This is our found its home or its place this month. It's found love. So over there it says looking for love and found it this month. Yes. <laughs> oh, we'll see you. Oh. This is so good to see it's you. It's been though. amazing. Yeah. And to see your organization just blooming and thriving. We're thriving. There's a rainbow. Check that out. Yep, I already got Maddie in front of it. Sorry, y'all. Alright, awesome. Well, drive safely. And we will. Take care. Can't wait to see this episode. So, at the auction, one horse that stood out in particular to me was a mare who I had noticed was foaming at the mouth. We ended up being able to save her in our group of five that we rescued from the auction, thanks to our supporters and donors. She was sweet as can be, lowered her head for Cindy to halter her. You could just tell she was so eager to get out of the auction house and so happy to have someone that saved her and that saw more in her than just a horse that should be shipped to slaughter. So once we got back to Horse Plus, Ripley went through Horse Plus's intake process she started in the shoot, got her weight, and then Jesse, one of their trainers, took over and was trying to give her the dewormer, her vaccinations, their normal procedure. And right away, you could just tell Ripley had a lot of life and a lot of personality in her. She started smacking her lips when the dewormer was in her mouth. She was being goofy, but she was so calm and so happy that it just made you feel really good that you saw that horse at the auction and then you saw her saved and could just tell the complete 180 she made in her demeanor. So going down to Horse Plus's facility, I knew I was going to be able to interact with their film crew and their media crew and Jason and Kayla both took it upon themselves to help me with our filming aspect and to give me some tips and tricks on what can help improve our videos and help me as a videographer. Jason and Caleb showed me why lighting can be important Caleb ended up filming me while I was filming him, which was a fun little thing during intake. It was really fun to be able to have the guidance of professionals that have 
equipment that we will one day be able to have, hopefully. So Angela, how's it going? And it's going great. It was just a really good time being able to talk to people that were able to help me help our rescue. When we were at the auction, there was one little gray pony that stood out to me. She was kind of hidden in the back pens. Um, when Cindy went in there to halter her, she seemed very standoffish. She seemed nervous, uh, quite unsure who this person was. She had good weight. She didn't look beat up, anything like that. It seemed like a lot of where did my person go? Where am I? Why am I here? I don't know these people. Once we were able to get the halter on her, she led very nice. She was super sweet. There was a paint mare that came in. She had a very noticeable lump under her eye. After the vet took a look at it, they did find out that it was a tumor. Um, this particular horse stuck, stood out to me specifically because over the winter I had lost my own gelding because of a tumor that was behind his eye. And so to see that again it was, um, it was tough. Um, it's tough to see uh, things like that. Uh, his was hidden um, with this one being very noticeable. It made it even more difficult just knowing that whoever had this horse knew that this problem was there and just didn't have any interest in trying to help her. My best friend, somebody who mean the world to me. And when you left me, I couldn't even walk straight on my feet. And now my heart is broken. I can't stand to see you leave. You were a great friend to me. It's been super great to be back down here at Horse Plus, um, going through this mentorship again, even though obviously it's not meant for us, but to try to help another organization and then get a little more. Um, face-to-face -face talking with them you know they've been great ever since even our mentorship ended you know always being there for us if we had questions and stuff and it's kind of great to come back down the people down here are always really nice and um, it's great to be able to save some horses with them and bring them home and maybe we'll be back in a year <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to be back in the Wisconsin weather, Cindy? Very. Could do without this, though. <laughs>
We are back from our trip to Tennessee and we've got our nine new horses here um, settling into the three different quarantine paddocks. They're all pretty happy to be off the trailer, take a little time to get their land legs back. They've all found the food and the water and they're checking out their new surroundings. Thanks everyone for helping us save some lives and we'll keep you all updated as we learn more about them. So how was the week without all of us here? So my week here at Ponytails without everyone was pretty uneventful for the most part. Uh, definitely busy, you know, feeding twice a day, getting all the horses taken care of, but things ran pretty smooth. We did have a little bit of a fencing mishap that I came into one morning, but turned the electric off and fixed it the best I could until everyone could get back. So that was taken care of and everything went well. So, how was the week without any of us here? It was very quiet, I guess. Anything exciting happen? Not that, not that I can think of. Was anyone able to repair Princeton's fence? I was told they took a fence down. Well, nobody told me anything no about that. No one didn't know anything about it. No. Oh. So a couple of years ago, if I had taken off for five days, what would have happened if a horse took a fence down? It would have probably been running around the yard. And then what? I would have had to fix the fence. Is it nice to have someone that can fix the fence for you so you can yeah. focus on your other things? Yes, it's very nice not having to worry about everything. So you didn't have to worry about the horses or any, well, well obviously the dogs, but yeah. as far as the rescue goes, you didn't have to worry about? I didn't have to do a thing. Awesome.